The isolated encounter method paired with a shining sandwich is one of the absolute best, most guaranteed ways to find yourself a shiny in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Today, we're going to hop in and find out the best way for you to get yourself a shining Spidops or Tarantula in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Let's hop in and get you that shiny. Before we go make our sandwich, go into your options. Double, triple check that your autosave is turned to off. Last thing is you want is to get to the end of the half hour, you haven't found the shiny yet, and you realize that all your sandwich supplies are gone. Turn this off, lay down a hard save, pick whichever of the sandwich methods you want. By the way, if you need help with that, there should be a card up here that will take you to a guide specifically on how to make five different options for a bug hunt. So go ahead and hit that card if you need help with your sandwich. Pick which of the five you're gonna do, go ahead and make that sandwich, and I'll meet you right back here. Ooh, so tasty, so tasty, so tasty. So sandwich is made, We've got 30 seconds down, so we're gonna open up our map real quick. Now this location we're going is not 100% isolated. It's gonna be right here on the map where you see the marker. We're gonna fly to this watchtower number two. It is, I'm gonna say 75% isolated. There are some scythers. Uh, if you watch the sandwich video, you will have noticed some scythers there too, but this is much better as far as that goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and move my face up here so that we can all see the mini map. We are gonna go over to here. We can tell that this sandwich is working because we see a ton of scythers. We're gonna cross the river. West area, or West Province area three. And we are gonna come all the way back to this corner. Now, as I uh, uh, said, you can see some scythers. I'm just gonna go ahead and tuck ourselves way back in this corner, and we'll start to see them spawn in. Now, they are a red and pink shiny, so you definitely will notice them. I'm just gonna roam around here for uh, the next little bit. Change the camera back. Sorry, Scyther, not for you. Change the camera back to here. Oh. Scyther got me. They are aggressive, so do your best. Um, you can either just keep on roaming back and forth, or I find this area is pretty good for picnic resetting, which is just you hop here, you go into a picnic, and then as soon as you pop back out of the picnic, it will be all new respawns. So it might look like the same spawns are happening, but they're all brand new. I'm gonna stay way back here to this corner as they respawn, because the closer you are to this corner, the less scythers will spawn. We only got one there so far. Now we're gonna do a quick check. All right, I'm gonna rinse and repeat until we get a shiny. There we go. Not only did we get a shiny, we got a shiny spot. Um, yeah. Also, mistake number one on my part, you instantly save as soon as you see the shiny. That way, you don't risk it running away. So let's see, where did it go? It's right there. We're not gonna let it get away. We're gonna save real quick. here. All right, so now we just got to catch it. Let's do a false swipe. I don't believe it has any moves uh, that, well, that can hurt me, but I was pretty sure it didn't have any moves that would hurt itself, but we did have that save right before. Critical catch. Shiny is ours. We can rinse and repeat, but that is how you can easily get yourself shiny spy dots. There it is. It's a great shiny. Throw it out. That is awesome. I forgot to check. All right, so I, I was, that was at least a minute before, uh, since I did that last part. We uh, 
we're still at 23 minutes. So that was less than a third of this sandwich. And we already got a shiny. So you can get a lot of shinies this way. If you want to get both of them for a living dex or a shine dex. Anyways, just this is the way to go. If you want to get yourself a shine, look at it. It's chilling over there. 20 minutes later. All right, there we go. With two minutes left. Two minutes left. Heck yes. All right. No, no, no. Get away from me. I want you. Yes. All right. One sandwich. Got both shinies. That is what you love to see. Get it in frame. There we go. Thunder wave. Me. Big old paradox shiny bug. Time to catch a little baby bug. Shiny catching shiny. Love to see that jiggle. All right. One sandwich. We caught both of the four, uh, both of the evolutions. So, and what more can you ask? This is a great area. It took me almost exactly a half hour, and I got both. Uh, for any shiny hunter out there, I think we can all agree that that's pretty incredible. Here you have it. We got both of them in one sandwich, 30 minutes. Obviously, that's not 100% guaranteed. It's not even guaranteed that you get one. Sometimes I've gone two sandwiches an hour with nothing. But when you correctly use the isolated method, even if you have that other Scyther in there, it opens up so many more encounters and that increased shiny rate, your odds are just really great at getting shiny Pokemon compared to what other game can you get specific Pokemon that you're going after shiny this quick. We're gonna be doing a lot more isolated encounter videos coming up and a lot more sandwiches of all the different types. So keep an eye on the channel Hit that thumbs up button if this has been helpful. Comment down below after you get your shiny. Let me know how long it took you. And hit that bell so when uh, we do have more isolated encounter methods coming out, you can be the first to know. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.